What's up, guys? We're gonna go over some basic troubleshooting uh, sort of hacks and different ways to deal with the De La Hiva guard, deconstructing the De La Hiva guard. Uh, it can really hang hang you up if you let people get going with their guard game on that position, and you need to have kind of some different ways, a little like checklist, order operations, things to to uh, deal with, right? So. We'll start off here, Michael's, you know, he's sitting up, so this makes him uh, more formidable, right? And we're gonna deal with different grips today, right? One is he's got the collar and he had the sleeve previously. Go ahead and grab back on that sleeve, right? If this is the case, I'm gonna try and clear this sleeve first and then go to there. And look, he defaulted to the ankle grip, which we're gonna go over several ways to deal with getting out of this ankle grip. Okay, so I call this a V grip. Boom. I put my thumb behind these two knuckles here and then in front of the two knuckles on the other hand. So when he's here, I don't want him to pull me uh, on a horizontal plane away. So I need to have a good base and that, that deals with that. If he has just my sleeve, this is a common grip people play when they want to do back takes and different things. Just putting my palm here and sliding out. Okay, now I can go outside or inside and just almost like a, a wrist lock sort of grip, right? I can just strip or I can go inside and strip. Now let's say he has, uh, he has a really good day with Heba hook here. All right, you're gonna have to deal with that as well. So running, running down the list here, strip, I like to lean back. That lessened his hook. Now I can go to some sort of a position where I like to pass from, which is right here. I've got a lot of passes I like to do. So he's here. I'm gonna do this, uh, the, I'm gonna highlight the one I just did on getting out of the ankle, right? I lean back and then I kick out, okay? so. If he has that ankle control, I'm always stripping grips first, right? Then I elude the hook, kick out, and I'm in a good passing position, right? Or we'll X-pass. A lot of times I do the mule stick, uh, mule kick style X-pass, right? Or just a knee slide style pass, okay? So, <clears throat> strip. Strip. I like to lean back. A lot of people like to press forward. That's fine too. Okay. One other way to deal with the ankle grip. Strip that, lean back. Here, he still has the ankle grip. I smash it down. So what happens here <clears throat> is when he has my ankle and I strip step back I smash down his legs on his grip and, and land in this position which is really akin to like a leg drag or twister side stuff it's really good to go to mount or take the back okay so just a little bit of a review some things here, if he grabs your collar, V grip. If he grabs your sleeve, palm strike. If he grabs your ankle, you can do an inside or outside strip, right? If you have either leaned back or pressed forward to deal with the hook, you can strip or you could kick the ball, right? You just turn and kick out when he grabs that ankle control. Right, so that's a, a really good sort of order operations. Deal with the grip, deal with the hook. All right, you could choose to deal with the ankle at that point, then deal with the hook, and then do your favorite pass. Right, so that's a good way to kind of look at deconstructing the De La Hiva guard. Okay, thanks.